from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another chatty get ready with me vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right, so today we're gonna be chatting about New York Fashion Week, a little life update while we do my makeup and this video is in partnership with Sephora. So happy to be working with Sephora by the way. I am a beauty insider. And if you're not a member yet, make sure to head to the link in my description box and in my pinned comment to sign up to become a Sephora Beauty Insider. There are three tiers. We have Rouge, VIB, and Insiders, and it's incredible. I'm gonna show you all how I got this makeup look and all of the products I use. I'm also gonna go over my skincare from Sephora because I get a lot of questions about that as well. Uh, and then we'll get ready to head out to dinner tonight. So without further ado, let's get into my Sephora Beauty haul and a get ready with me. So of course I did a Sephora haul and I have three new end products that I will be using today for my get ready with me. I want to show these to you all first and then we will get into my skincare because I've been asked a lot about my skincare routine and then we'll do my makeup, we'll pick an outfit, a fragrance and we'll head to my event today. So first up is the list no limits bronzer um i've been looking for a really good clean vegan bronzer that i can use as a, a contour and this is wonderful one of my favorites this is also black owned incredible so we'll use this today next up i've never used these two products first up we have the say glossy bounce um lip oil and what i like about this is it has like a purple tint you all already know i love a good lip oil so we're gonna try this out my dress today has purple in it so i think this would look great and then finally for the first time we are trying milk makeup pore eclipse translucent loose setting powder i prefer to use a powder over like a, like a creamy foundation so we're gonna give this one a try today as well I've linked all three of these products down below let's start with skincare so right now I am bare face and my skin has been doing so well considering that I just got through New York Fashion Week usually my skin is like out of control but I have to give it up for my skincare routine um i have some holy grail products all of these are available at sephora i'm gonna quickly run through them before we start my get ready with me makeup look okay first up dermalogica this is the best cleanser it's a daily glycolic cleanser it's a brightening cleanser helps with dark marks um, ever since I started using this, I've noticed a visible change in my skin for the better. My skin looks brighter, more youthful, more buoyant. Um, and I use this every single night before I do my skincare routine. So put this on your Sephora to buy list. <laughs> do it today. Do it right now. I've linked it down below. Uh, next up, we have a group of the Ordinary products. I love the Ordinary products. Like, they are just the best they are clinical formulations made with integrity um a lot of them are vegan ultra pure just like one or two products not a bunch of things so and they're very very affordable as well you can get the same results with the ordinary products as you do these you know very very expensive skincare products so there are five, wait, one, two, three, no, there are four products I'm gonna show you from The Ordinary. First up, we have the Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. Y'all see that this is almost gone, right? I use this probably every other day to tone my skin after cleansing and she's the one and not the two. Very, very affordable. Um, get it <laughs> get it now i usually use a little cotton pad in fact my favorite are shiseido also from sephora 
uh, to just wipe down my face. And then these three products from The Ordinary, I use interchangeably depending on what my skin needs. First up is niacinamide. 10% uh, with zinc 1% again this is the ordinary this is for blemishes for blemish prone skin for evening out your skin and also like helping to re prevent blemishes and it's amazing of course it comes with a little medicine dropper which I love I usually put a little drop here 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 and here and I do like the one minute rule where I rub it in and I have definitely noticed like my dark marks lightening up and my skin is less prone to blemishing after I have like a pimple and such. Now cinnamide is the way to go. By the way, I just realized that this bronzer from Liss has niacinamide in it. Who would have thunk it? So good. Okay, the next two ordinary products are salicylic acid for acne. We all know. Um, I usually use a drop or two on pr problematic spots on my face. And for me, that's around my chin um, and my ears. That's where I get the most buildup, probably because I'm not washing my face <laughs> good enough. And it, everything kind of just ends up here. But this has helped out a lot. Salicylic acid solution for acne prone skin. This is 2% works amazing and last but not least hyaluronic acid Hyal hyaluronic acid is what your face needs for youth for buoyant bouncy plump youthful skin get rid of those fine lines and wrinkles this stuff is wonderful okay it's ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid plus b5 and this i'll put on my cheeks i'll put on my chin because i was noticing some dimpling in my chin completely gone now that I've been using this for maybe like a year now um, I also like to put some on my neck and massage upward because this hyaluronic acid is the fountain of youth so those are my favorites for like my skincare and nighttime routine from the ordinary and finally you have to have a retinol in your skincare routine for anti-aging properties fine lines and wrinkles uh, this is Kiehl's, which I love by the way, and it is the Retinol Skin Renewing Daily Microdose Serum. You can use this daily without it irritating your skin. I use it maybe every other night. And again, mainly on my cheeks, on my forehead, in an upward motion, and also on my neck in an upward motion to help with wrinkles and fine lines. So that my darlings is my skincare routine those are my holy grail skincare products from sephora and i just realized i have one on now so when i have a little problematic area which is right here i have a tiny little pimple i like to use the peace out acne patches which you can get at sephora they have 10 acne healing dots within them they also have salicylic acid so it's just like a steady release for the time that you have it on and so I just took that one off for you guys because I forgot I had it on so that is pretty much my nighttime skincare routine during the day I usually just use a gentle cleanser to start the day and after cleansing my face I am ready for makeup application so actually I need to cleanse my face one moment <laughs> All right guys, face is cleansed, of course. For my everyday cleanser, not at night, um, I just use the Dior La Mousse Off On, and it does have a brightening component as well, but it's very, very gentle. Um, and I like to use that during the day uh, before I, I do my makeup. So face is cleansed, all of those things from Sephora are linked down below. And remember, you can use my link down below to become a Sephora Beauty Insider. There are three tiers. You have your Rouge members, your VIB members, and of course, Insiders. Okay, let's get into my makeup look for today. We are starting with a moisturizer. Always moisturize your face, you guys. I'm going in with the Superfood Air Whipped Moisture Cream from Youth to the People. This is my absolute favorite with kale, spinach, and hyaluronic acid. It's a really beautiful consistency. It doesn't really have a smell, and it just kind of seeps into your skin 
providing a beautiful base for your makeup. I'll be sure to link this down below because I use this every single day. Okay, so we're going to start with the little tinted SPF um, or a tinted moisturizer. I'll link a few of my favorites from Sephora down below. But I'm way more into tinted moisturizer these days over foundation because I just like a light and airy look. And I don't need much coverage because my skincare has really been on point. So let's chat a bit about fashion week, some questions I've been getting, um, a little life update while we do this get ready with me. So we're gonna start with the Milk Pore Eclipse Translucent Powder. After I have on a um, tinted moisturizer, I don't know why I couldn't think of that word. <laughs> While I have on a tinted moisturizer, I like to overlay it with powder um, just to make it a more flawless finish. And we're gonna go in with the Milk one, and this one is in the color Translucent Deep. So it should just kind of melt into my skin. But I really do love this little twist cap. I've never know, I, like seen this before on a loose powder. And I think that is such ingenuity because then it won't like spill all out everywhere, which is great. And it also locks, which is very cool. But like, how do I open it? Oh, I see, I see. All right, let's test it out. The color looks about right. Wow. I like it. So this just gives me a poreless, flawless finish. And because it's translucent, it really just blends right in to my skin tone. I really love this. Wow. Again, all of these things are linked down below for you guys. This is good. Wet pores. The pores do not exist. Yes. Love this. Okay, new favorite translucent powder, milk makeup in translucent deep. Um, wow. This is amazing. Get this, add this to your Sephora list ASAP. Okay, so I had an amazing time at New York Fashion Week. It was action packed jam-packed my favorite show was La Pointe I really enjoyed the La Pointe show it was very New York very edgy very I'm that girl like the bits and pieces of things you would wear to a Beyonce Renaissance concert um I love the thigh high boots uh all of it was so good and it was styled to perfection by the way they did style me for their show and I just enjoyed working with their team uh, so that had to be one of the best shows for me and I got that question a lot we're gonna go in with a little bit of uh, Laura Mercier flawless fusion ultra wear long wear concealer in the color 4n and we are going to blend that using these super cute little brushes that I got from Dior. So with this, we're just adding a little more dimension back to my face. We are concealing the under eye and brightening as well. And I like to really drag it up. Like you can, this almost works as like a contour and it lasts all day. And now we're gonna go in with a little powder. This is the Lara Mercier translucent powder. So we're gonna set my under eye here. Sorry about the light going in and out. I'm using natural light. Now I also like to go into my eyebrows a little with the translucent powder because my eyebrows tend <laughs> to sweat and get super shiny for some reason, so. And now we're all set. Now after I set my under eye with the Laura Mercier powder, I usually get started with my eyebrows and today we're going to use the Sephora brow pencil in the color Granite. It's my favorite. Before we go in and <laughs> do my brows, we're gonna set them with a little bit of the Milk Clear Brow uh, Gel. 
because they are quite unruly. So let's get into this. Sorry if you can hear all kinds of noises, like my neighborhood in Harlem is very lively during this time. You can also hear someone stuck in a parking spot by someone who just parked in front of them because they are honking their horn excessively, which usually means, hey, I'm blocked in because someone double parked, please move. It's the sounds of New York. Can't say that I miss them. So my brows are set. I love this little gel, by the way. You can use it by itself as well, but this one is clear. So I just kind of use it to get the brows all in place before filling them in with my Sephora brow pencil and granite. So yes, New York Fashion Week, amazing time, super fun. Um, a new designer whose show that I was able to attend, um, that I've never attended their show before, is Tiffany Brown. She is a black designer and I loved her collection. It was sent her around blue and all of the pieces she did were blue. She also did like this blue acid wash jumpsuit in denim, which chef's kiss, I loved it. If you haven't watched the uh, New York Fashion Week vlogs, you have to check it out. But I try and definitely support more smaller brands and black owned brands during New York Fashion Week because, you know, I like to go where I'm celebrated and where I want it. So, yeah. I also enjoy the Sammy B show. I have quite a few of her pieces as well as Harlem's Fashion Row. I did some back stage access with them and I mean everybody was at that show Kelly Rowland, ASAP Rocky, Stella Jean won designer of the year and it was just really cool to be in the Apollo theater in that capacity you know. I'm just filling in my brows with gentle upstrokes using the Sephora brow pencil in granite my favorite. By the way, a few of you asked about how I grew my eyebrows and I've already had, I've always had like pretty thick eyebrows, but to, as I've gotten older, they have gotten thinner. So I use the Ordinary. Um, they have a brow, uh, like elixir, a uh, brush similar to this one from Milk. Um, and I'll link it down below because they have it at Sephora. I use it every other night during my skincare routine and it's definitely helped to grow my brows as well as my eyelashes. So after I fill my brows in, I just line the bottoms of them really gently. Okay, brows are done. We're just going to clean it up a little tiny bit with, again, the Laura Mercier Long Wear Concealer in 4N. But I don't like my brows to look too clean. So I use a thicker brush. So this is the brush I use. And I just clean it up a bit. And I also like to add a little bit of the concealer to my eyelids as a base for my eyeshadow. Kind of lays better as well. Brows are done and now is the step in my makeup routine where I do my cat eye. I use the Dior Show On Stage Liquid Liner because it is so precise and it, it just glides on so perfectly. I cannot do this on camera. I'm going to show you guys me doing it but I have to do it in the mirror or I'm going to butcher it. Like I, I have to really think about doing, doing my cat out. For a while I had it down packed and then I started doing something different. I have to go back to the old way. But what I like to do is go from the tip of my eye and do kind of like a diagonal line going towards the tip of my eyebrow. So it kind of almost joins and that's what I do at both sides. It took me a super long time to get them to be sisters, not twins, but they are close enough. <laughs> and I love this pencil. It is amazing. Now we're going to go in with a bit of the Dior Show on stage crayon pencil. And I love this for uh, an eyeliner. Look how like black and precise it is. I love that. And it goes on super smooth. I also love that this little pencil actually comes with a 
sharpener as well great little two-in-one deal and how cute the sharpener has dior on it ah, i'll link this down below available at sephora so when i'm lining my eyes i usually take the liquid liner to about mid eye and then i use a pencil to go in the crevice and kind of connect the two so that my entire eye is lined and i find that to be the trick to a very like very sultry eye look without using a lot of eye makeup let's get into my eyeshadow my mascara let's talk a little bit more about fashion week for the eyes my favorite palette right now is the dior backstage eye palette in the color burgundy neutrals um i mean burgundy is a great color for fall and i love going in with this beautiful matte smoky red here sometimes i'll do a little brown we have a little shimmer here but yeah the red is my favorite one so we're gonna go in with this one and i do a pretty messy all over the lid you can see the color there so nice and kind of edgy i'm loving like a red lid but not like fire engine red like smoky deep mysterious red and this is a beautiful palette so when it comes to like funding new york fashion week it is very expensive um because i have an apartment here in new york city i don't have to really pay the cost of like a hotel which is probably the most the major cost of attending new york fashion week if you don't live in the city but for me it's ubers the uber rides were extravagant because i'm coming all the way from harlem most of the shows are downtown um or chelsea piers anywhere between 20th street and like varick street where all of the shows are experience studios so most of those rides were like 30 to 40 dollars one way so i really <laughs> am thankful and grateful for all of the events that gave uber codes because they helped me out so much um i know who all gave an uber code uh i believe charlotte Til tilbury gave an uber code um no clinique gave an uber code and uh who else lots of people gave uber codes and i was thankful for them because they helped but for me that was the main thing transportation because it's just so expensive now i wore a ton of outfits during new york fashion week and everyone asked which outfit was my favorite and that's so hard to pick because i had so many looks okay so let me just pick my top three number one i loved my la point look they dressed me in this beautiful lilac look which came with a top and a beautiful skirt with a super high slit and i just happened to have um shoes that matched and a bag that matched so that look was out of this world definitely top three my next favorite look would have to be the vintage like very colorful dress that i got off poshmark i mean it's just such a fun dress it's kind of high low mini dress with a short shorter front longer back beautiful colors that i paired with these alaya sandals i mean ugh, in this telfar bag it was a, it was just a fun look and that's what made me love that look and then i would have to say uh, a look that i didn't get much footage of <laughs> unfortunately but i wore my something by sanji james paperback pants with this striped top from marnie and it just worked i wasn't even planning this look and it just came together i wore it the last day of fashion week and it's just a fun look it's not taking itself too serious but also just showing the creativity and getting dressed so those were my top three looks if you have no idea what i'm talking about head on over to my instagram at my steel to check out the looks okay it's time to contour let's get into it where is my list so we are using Liss, which is vegan also black owned very excited for this um the no limits bronzer and it's creamy it goes on so smooth and this is how i like to use this product so i like to go in with a few lines on my forehead and you'll see that it just melts into your skin like butter and then we are going to 
do a little contour line here and we're gonna blend so let's go ahead and blend this in this is a contour brush which is a little more flat and angular do you see how that just melted into my skin when you see like the island glow it's gonna look like i just debarked a plane from st kitts or barbados and i just love how this just melts it just melts into your skin and gives you a stunning glow and again vegan black owned one of my favorite bronzers oh it's it's gorgeous all right so this is what we're looking like it is seeming as if i'm gonna have to get a new vlog camera before i head to milan fashion week because the focus on this one is it's gone it keeps going in and out it's giving me the little <laughs> if you are a vlogger or if you have the canon g7x you already know what it is it's 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 giving me the the cackle <laughs> the rattle of like death <laughs> wow stunning you guys have to check that out i will make sure to link that down below now let's finish up the eyes with a little mascara i use two different ones <laughs> one for the top lashes one for the bottom lashes because my bottom lashes are so tiny like i need a special bristle brush for those and this is absolutely why i love sephora i can literally find every makeup item and skincare item and hair care item and fragrance item <laughs> that i need in one place okay we're gonna go in with the dior show iconic over curl mascara and how cute is this little thing here i like this for my top lashes because it just lifts and perfectly separates them without me having to do much work i hate a clunky lash and this just separates everything and spreads everything out. Okay, lashes done. At least the top ones are, but like, look. Love them. A lot of people um, ask if I wear like false uh, lashes and I just don't. Like my eyes are too sensitive and it's okay. Like I like the way my, <laughs> my eyelashes look and this makes them look even better. I will link this down below. Now for the bottom lashes, I use Benefits Cosmetics their real mascara because of the bulb it has a little bulb towards the tip there and it just grabs your lower lashes seamlessly um any other brush is just too thick for my lashes on the bottom and they don't catch or they catch too much and then they're automatically clunky so i like using this one i mean you see it by the way you get free one to three day standard shipping when you are a beauty insider so don't forget to click the link everything is linked down below in the description bar all of the products that i'm using today for my makeup look and that's on us merchandise orders and there is no minimum as well like no minimum spend requirement so yes now that the eyes are done i think we're gonna just do a tiny tiny contour on my nose <laughs> just the tiniest one and then we are gonna do some blush a lip and we'll go and pick an outfit all right ooh, i brought you guys in closer Ooh. okay so i have a flat thin brush here and i'm just gonna dip it right into my list bronzer so you guys can see for a little contour And honestly, I just like to go in with my finger because it really blends out so beautifully. The consistency of the list, um, No Limits, is amazing. And it literally just melts into your skin. Ugh, stunning. The cost of New York Fashion Week is pretty expensive. I know it will be... Um, great to like set a budget for yourself because it can get pretty expensive super quick for me it's all about like making connections hanging with my friends and highlighting the brands that support me um so that's what it's about for me but i also 
like to <laughs> be able to recoup that and I do pretty quickly I usually have about three to four brand campaigns center around actually just being at New York Fashion Week this New York Fashion Week I had a brand campaign with Aldo because they had a pop-up during New York Fashion Week and I was able to do that campaign um, I also worked with Camille Rose Naturals as well as Brown Girl Jane uh, for Harlem's Fashion Rose Show um, and so that was wonderful. Um, who else did I work with? I, I got to work with Rebag to show um, how I would style some of their bags for Fashion Week, as well as Silver and Riley, which is a black owned um, handbag brand. And yeah, I was able to just recoup all of the money I spent like right away. And I also I made more money than I spent. So it's always in my best interest to attend New York Fashion Week not just for the shows but for work and also because it's just part of my job and because your girl loves fashion this is a fashion quickly becoming beauty channel first okay we are going to do my cheeks and let's see what do we have here what do we have here we're going to go in with the dior rosy glow in cherry now this is definitely like probably my favorite blush at the moment it's between this one and the fenty uh i think i have it somewhere here the fenty creams both of these are available at sephora but i love the fenty beauty cream blushes and also the dior rosy glow in cherry and it's like a beautiful orangey red which i find to be just oh uh, look at it look at it it is so let's see the power of a little blush by the way I love blush so I use a lot more than a little oh you see it oh, oh. look how just like awake I look over here and it does have like a little reflective glow you see the difference look oh It just gives you an awake, youthful, flushed look. Oh, it's so beautiful. This this one is definitely my favorite. And I overdo it every time with the blush. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm a blush girl. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Now for the lip, we're going in with the Say Glossy Lip. It has a beautiful like purple. Ah, uh, mm, I love it. I'm totally a gloss girl now, you guys. So this is the Say Glossy Bounce Hydrating Lip Oil in the color Dream. And it's, uh, it's, it is very hydrating. And I love that little purple tinge. By the way, if you didn't know, purple is like one of the hottest colors of the season. Next year, you're going to see purple everywhere. So if you want to get on trend now, go ahead and start adding purple to your wardrobe. So that is my full makeup look and skincare routine featuring all of the products from Sephora. And I'm loving this makeup look. I feel like this is the best I've done my makeup in a while. And I have to attribute it to this Milk uh, Pore Eclipse Translucent Powder. I mean, it really just set the base. And I absolutely am loving the Say Lip Glow Oil. So I've made sure to link all of these products down below in the description box for you guys so you can check them out. And remember, if you are not yet a Sephora Beauty Insider, you can click the link in my bio and in my pinned comments to become a member. There's so many amazing perks. Um, I actually love collecting my points. I like to see how many points I can get. And then I use some of them to get a discount off of my order, like $10. It's amazing. And I absolutely love being a Beauty Insider. Okay, so now that the makeup is done, oh, by the way, shout out to Sephora for sponsoring this video. Sephora is amazing. Thanks for having me. 
we are going to head into my office. We are going to get ready and um, pick out a look for this dinner tonight and chat a little bit more about fashion week and a life update. All right guys, so we're in my office and I was invited to a dinner with Carolina K. And they sent over a lookbook for me to choose a look to wear to their dinner tonight. And so I picked this dress. It is so beautiful. It's like a silk dress, a slip dress. It has a little zip on the side here. And as you can see, it's like different shades of purple and navy blue and brown. So I thought that the say gloss would go perfectly with this look. It is a maxi dress. So we're gonna put this on. Here are the shoes that I'm thinking of wearing with the look. These are super old Saint Laurent heels with like the purple tip. And I think it would match well with the dress. So let's get this on. Okay, so we have the dress on. I'm loving the colors. It fits like a dream. I have two more products from Sephora that I use on a very regular basis. You all always ask what lotion, what moisturizer I'm using for shiny legs. And it's Kiehl's Cream de Corp. This is the best lotion in the world. It's very moisturizing. It gets rid of the ash. It does not have a smell. Um, so you can layer it with like your favorite oils but it's incredible. I get so many people on Instagram, it's like, oh, what's that lotion? Can you tell me what's the lotion again? It's this. So save the, save the video or just head down to the link <laughs> and get it. It comes in a few different sizes at Sephora and it is the best. Now for today's fragrance, we're going with the Dior Lore. This is their newer fragrance by, um, Maison Francis Kirk Dijon who came up with this fragrance. It smells amazing. It's perfect for an intimate dinner. Now I'm going to put on my shoes and earring and I'm going to show you guys the full look and we will head to dinner. So I think for the earring we're going to go with my Philippe Ferrandis earrings because they have a lot of jewel tones in them including like purple and I think it, they just go very well with the dress. Remember I got these from First Dibs. And I wore them during New York Fashion Week. And they were a hit. And I tried to like keep the rest of the outfit kind of plain because the earrings were doing the absolute most. But I think it works well with this dress. So we're going to go with it. But overall, I had an amazing New York Fashion Week. I saw all the girls. I'm very proud of just everyone who showed up and showed out. And yeah, I was very happy to see Brittany, Pockets and Bows, Janae, Hilo Lux, um, Simply Shauna, Kayla Walker, Tanya, all of the Kensington Gray girls. Like, it was just a really amazing time oh and also my girl kelly b it was so good seeing her as well uh so yeah we're gonna head out to dinner i'm gonna take you guys with me so you all can see the vibes where i'm gonna show you the full look now and then we'll be out by the way i think the bag we're gonna go with this i think i got this at marshall's like it's super old but it's fun all right guys, hopefully you can see me and can hear me. But here is the look. This Carolina K dress is stunning. I put on the YSL heels with it. This cute little bag from Marshalls, I believe, and my uh, Ferrandis, Philippe Ferrandis earrings. The entire makeup look is from Sephora. Let's go to dinner.
actually those are um, our new homewares. So, se están estrenando hoy en yes. Noya yeah. House. And uh, they're hand painted. Yeah. You know, the evolution, the journey, and, and to be able to eat off these plates and wear her clothing is just, it makes me very happy. So, I'm very happy to host all of you.